What is up everyone, this is Spirefan here. We just got back from another great Pokemon TCG Highlander Monthly. It was a lot of fun for sure. Happy Easter, happy April Fool's Day, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your year. Thanks again to the Pizza Place for letting us host these monthly tournaments. The owners of the Pizza Place are awesome people, and Logan Buren has been our waiter for quite a few of these tournaments, and he's an awesome guy as well. Uh, thank you so much for all the service you guys have provided for us. Uh, we definitely love this place, and uh, if you're ever around the Kansas City area, uh, which, you know, we're in the heart of the country, so if you're ever traveling uh, coast to coast um, or, you know, north to south, uh, definitely check out The Pizza Place. They also installed this awesome deck rack on the wall uh, to display Vance Kelly's Pokemon World Championships 2023 um, winning deck along with the display of the poster and Pokeball that Vance Kelly signed. Again, awesome venue, awesome owners, and Logan Buren has been an awesome waiter for us for months. I definitely recommend checking out that place if you're in Kansas City. Let's dive right into the set. So game one, it is me versus Sax. I am playing a deck I built for Lasagna a few months ago. Uh, which is Waylord, Arctovish, Komala. Sax is playing his mill deck that he won with last month. He said with a few alterations. Uh, so that is going to be Hisuian, Avalug, Ninjask, and Shedinja. Uh, I open up with Komala turn one with the water energy. And because Komala stays asleep, uh, six damage counters were spread to Sax's Pokemon. Uh, so you definitely can start doing an early blitz like what you see right here. Uh, I get a knockout. I actually get two knockouts because of Komala's Poke Body and then doing 70 damage with Komala's attack. Sax is able to respond with a Ninjask to Shedinja play. You see Sand Slash on the bench there. Uh, Sand Slash is, lets you grab energy from the top six cards of your deck. Any energies that you want, put it into your hand, which is really good synergy with Ninjask. Uh, and Hisuian Avalug. I get out Waylord level X. I set up Regiice from the deck with Waylord level X's attack with two water energy on Regiice. Uh, and so now I'm kind of just trying to promote Waylord as like a, a hard to KO uh, potential sweeper. But the thing is I need a uh, double colorless energy to start hitting with Waylord's first attack. So I promote Regiice, uh, start doing some damage there. Sax promotes Avalug and that is game one to me. I was able to blitz him pretty fast. In this type of matchup, you know, Lasagna's deck is like a bulky water colorless spread deck. Uh, and so you're wanting to get that spread damage and then trying to either early game or late game sweep. Uh, like you're seeing here, I'm going second and I start fur fro. And so I'm actually attaching water double colorless energy right there uh, to already take a knockout. And so against mill decks, you kind of want to try to really blitz them. Uh, and so I'm going for the early blitz here. And Pokemon like Waylord, um, or Obama Snow can be late game cleaners. Well, fully evolved basics like Kamala, Chadot, and Furfro uh, can be very good in the early game as potential sweepers as well. Uh, he gets out Shedinja level X, which has an attack for zero energy that takes the top cards of your opponent's deck for each energy or uh, each prize card remaining for the player using Shedinja at level X, and then you attach those cards to those Pokemon. So now, whenever you see me show cards to the camera, that was a that was a request from Sax to show what cards that he attached to each Pokemon for the footage, because you can see that Waylord and Furfro uh, both have cards attached to them. Uh, he did attach cards to Obama Snow as well. Um, you know, you can quickly freeze frame for sure. Uh, There's a few times that, spoilers, I, I did get some cards back by attacking. So yeah, Sax's deck, uh, very strong walls. He runs, obviously, Shedinja. Uh, Deonce is on the bench there, and he runs Shuckle. So there's a lot of great ways that he can really wall out the opponent while he's milling with Ninjask and Hisuian Avalug on the bench. You see the Leafy Camo Poncho on Hisuian Avalug. Now Avalug is protected by Lysander, Guzma, and uh, Serena. You see me playing Curse Stone there. Another thing with Lasagna's deck is that uh, with Curse Stone, Pokemon with Poke Powers take 10 damage between turns. Uh, all the Pokemon I have in play right now have no Poke Powers. And Mega Obama Snow's ability will put 10 damage on non-water Pokemon between turns if they're active. 
Uh, so there's been a lot of spread damage already. A Baba Snow Snow play will do 20 damage to the opponent's bench that aren't grass or water. If they are grass or water, uh, then I get an additional energy attachment for my hand when Pokemon in any way I like for each one. Uh, we see, again, Sax promotes Avalug. He kind of got cornered there. And uh, I, I am up 2-0 right here. So this is the thing we've talked about with spread decks in the past is that... You know, one of their big issues that they've ran into is if your opponent can promote a problem ASAP for them, like in terms of, like I said, an early or late game cleaner. Uh, so right now I'm trying to promote Furfro as an early game uh, cleaner here, seeing that if I can blitz Sax again before he sets up, I take a knockout, I got a Fighting Fury Belt on Furfro, doing a decent amount of damage. Furfro has a uh, great Poke Body that actually works really well with spread damage in general because if the opponent has more uh, damage counters than Furfro, Furfro is going to take 50 less damage from attacks from that Pokemon. Um, we see Sand Slash promoted. Now, something cool that Saxon does throughout this set is uh, he's done, he did a few Sand Swirls, but in this case, he did uh, Sand Slash's first attack, which uh, if I hit into Sand Slash, which I did, I take 70 damage. I kind of gauge the risk reward there. And here's another cool thing he does with Sand Slash. I have Cessation Crystal on Obama Snow to turn off all Poke Powers and Bodies. So now I'm doing spread damage and not worrying about like Shedinja's Poke Body blocking that. Uh, so Sax actually uses um, Sand Slash's Sand Swirl, uh, which does 10 spread for no energy, but it also gets rid of all Pokemon Tool Cards on the opponent's side. And so it got rid of my cessation crystal. It's a great uh, response by Sax there. Very good adaptation by him. Uh, I promote Mega Abom Snow again. So now it's you know Sax kind of gauging what to do again. This is the thing with spread is how do you uh, how do you counter a problem? Now as I say that my my deck has been thinning out, so I have to be careful there. But you know Sax has been very resourceful. He promotes Shuckle. Uh, and starts dialing up the poison for Mega Obama Snow. Um, you see me trying to build up Waylord as a potential uh, cleaner late game with four energy on him. Waylord says that if he has more energy than the defending Pokemon, um, he's going to be doing 100 damage a turn. And so I know that Sax isn't really going for damage unless he has to get rid of a threat like he's doing here against Mega Obama Snow. As I say that though, here comes Shedinja level X, attaches multiple cards on my board. So I have to be very careful. And he's basically milling six every turn unless I can attack. I attacked with Minchino, uh, showed a few cards and Sax takes it. So Sax has already been running it back right now. Uh, the funny part is, at the very end with Minchino, I actually made a, a small mistake. I'm glad uh, Sax pointed it out. You're not allowed to Evo Soda if it's public knowledge that your evolution is in the discard pile. And I actually had Sincino in the discard pile that game, but I was able to do Call for Family to check for my deck anyway in that same turn. And yes, that, that, you know, Sax was okay with it, but that is something important to know, especially against a mill deck where they could discard your evolution lines. Uh, speaking of, I promote Sincino here with a water energy, and uh, you know, Sincino, you flip a coin. Um, if he, you know, basically, it's a 50/50 shot when the opponent tries to do damage. Um, if you flip heads, then you take 30 less. Uh, Sincino does. Uh, Sincino also has an attack for one colorless energy that I show two cards in the discard pile, and Sax chooses if I get to have them or not. If he says no, then it does 70 damage to the defending Pokemon. Uh, I'm promoting Waylord pretty early in the game. I want to start taking some knockouts. I do. I play Agatha right there to move the damage over to Way uh, Basque Legion. The Rainbow Energy is gonna do enough for Waylord to get a knockout there. Lasagna's deck plays Lana and Fresh Water Set as well. So there's a few resources for like counter spread, uh, healing in general. And with Agatha, you move three damage counters over to the defending Pokemon from your active Pokemon. So definitely can help out a lot in a lot of scenarios. We see shit set it shit into level X again. Uh, attaches a ton of energy to Sincino, so I have to be careful there, uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to, you know, have Waylord as a, a cleaner again, but the thing is with Shedinja is that, you know, he's going to be walling Waylord off of a lot of damage. So I'm using Reggie Ice there on the bench to Reggie move Shedinja away and then try to get knockouts around Shedinja. Um, Shedinja is still, Shedinja is not an evolved Pokemon, so Reggie Ice's Reggie move does work there. Uh, so I kind of recognized 
that, yeah, Reggie Ice will help there. Uh, but Sax actually takes that game too, so now it's 2-2. Sax is making quite the run back now, uh, kind of demonstrating great adaptation skills with him as a player. And uh, we already see the Grant. Now Grant got patched in this update where Grant will be shuffled in the deck, not going back to your hand. But Sax is showing that that's perfectly fine. Uh, Grant still allows you to discard cards to your, well, discard pile. And so he'll, he'll try to go for like fighting energy a lot of the time to activate Hisui and Avalon's Pokemon to build cards. Uh, we actually see Shuckle promoted pretty early in the game to put pressure on Regiice because again, I'm trying to blitz with these fully evolved basic Pokemon early on. Lasagna's deck runs Arctovish, Regiice, Furfro, and uh, Komala as fully evolved basic Pokemon. And so all those Pokemon are able to kind of do pretty good damage uh, with just three energy. And of course, double colorless energy provides two of those energy uh, for all of their attacks, at least one on each. See Mega Bombus now, now pay attention here. He actually is about to attack with Shuckle. And this is a huge play because Shuckle's attack not only poisons you and does 10 damage, but any Pokemon affected by that poison now cannot have energy attached to it. As you see right there, I couldn't attach that double colorless energy. Thank you, Sax, for reminding me that, so I put the double colorless energy on Waylord. Uh, but because this is an effect on Mega Abomasnow and not from Shuckle, Shuckle can move back to the bench, and Mega Abomasnow is stuck with that effect while the poison dials up on him. And so I have to be careful there, but the thing is, is that, you know, uh, in this game, he mills my switch pretty early. Um, and so I have to basically commit, I'm, I'm committing to snow play here. Now I could let Mega Obama Snow get knocked out. Uh, you know, one, obviously one thing is, you know, you have to reconfigure your mindset against spread decks is that it's okay to give your opponent some prize cards in general because they're after your, you know, your deck count, not, not the prize cards usually. Uh, but as you can see, I'm I'm after healing um, Mega Obama Snow, so I, I'm using those cards I mentioned earlier. I did play Lana to try to keep Mega Obama Snow healthy, but the thing is with that is uh, Snow Play is doing spread damage, but not a lot to his walls, which is you know Shedinja level X uh, or Shuffle, and uh, so he's actually doing a good job kind of playing around that. Uh, as long as I stay poisoned, then yeah, I can't attach an energy, and with that. Uh, Sax takes it. Yeah, he, he adapted super well, uh, actually demonstrating a, a very good quality um, of, a, of a player that's improved a lot in Highlander is that he took advantage of his options and he adapted accordingly. You know, those big highlight moments where he got out Sand Slash to get rid of Cessation Crystal, he got out Shuckle to try to keep uh, Mega Obama Snow locked into place. Uh, both very, very good plays. So. Props to Sax for taking it. He says that his bounty is still in effect for next month. So we hope to see you guys there. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.